What's up YouTube, this is Ali Puppy, and today I'm going to show you how to remove your hard drive on a PlayStation 3. <clears throat> this reflection is just because I'm using a, a lamp. Um, first thing you need to do is, there's this little, um, like, um, nook right there where you can, like, stick your finger in and potentially pull it out, but you can also use, a, like, a flathead screwdriver. So here you have your hard drive. You need to unscrew this blue screw only. I know some hard drives, they have multiple screws. Only the blue screw. So, turn it left, obviously, pull it out, it should come out just like that. Now all you gotta do is just pull this out, and there it is. I have a 40 gig Hitachi hard drive, I know other people probably have different ones, and just like it says, do not cover that hole, I think it's a breather hole or something. Um. Now I know you can do this with the Xbox, but what's convenient about this is you can put any hard drive in here just by unscrewing these four little holes. You can put like I think it's only two and a half inch hard drive, so you can have like a 750 gigabyte one. Just go straight in your PlayStation. Now you can do that with Xbox, except you need to avoid you you avoid the warranty if you um, open up the hard drive casing, so that's not very good. Now putting it back in, you basically just slide it in until it goes in all the way. And make sure you do not lose this screw. If you lose it, you're screwed. No pun intended. Um, yeah. So, oops. Just put it back in there, and don't tighten it as tight as it was before, so you don't strip the screw if you ever want to take it out again. So put it in just to the point where it kind of stops. Oh, I forgot to mention the screwdriver I'm using. It's a little tiny one. I don't know the size of it, but it's Phillips head. And I'm using the, the XMOD kit. You could probably get it without this, but yeah. I have XMOD. I have an XMOD racer, and I have the toolkit. So, when you're done, just put this back on. Oops. Oh, wrong side. Yeah, make sure you don't do that. And there you have it. Now, this is not void the warranty at all. Um, Sony actually has instructions on their website of how to do this. This is just an alternative in case you couldn't figure out how to find that. Um, yeah, it's really simple.